It is held by some that this word Venezia signifies Veni etiam, that is, come again and again, for however oft you come, you will always see new things and new beauties. Here at the University of Guelph, our art history program offers students a wide variety of areas of study on historical attitudes towards the visual arts, critical approaches to art history, and methods of art practice and presentation. One such class that is offered is the Venice Field School course, also known as Architecture in Venice, the City and the Sea. This course allows students to study architecture within the city of Venice rather than in a classroom setting and develop and exercise methods of visual observation and analysis. Today, Venice is one of the largest tourist attractions in the world. This is influenced heavily by its unique culture, location, and history. The architecture of the city has been developed within an urban fabric that has changed its appearance over the last several centuries, while inhibiting any physical expansion of the land, making the city an urban environment that changes and develops according to the needs of its population without physically growing in size. As observation is the primary basis of art historical study, this course allows students to develop that skill in a true physical setting. Buildings such as the Church of Santa Maria della Salute are subjects of analysis for students to explore and observe, while being complemented by lectures centered around those locations. This field school course is an extremely important experience within the field of art historical study, as it allows students to be introduced to works of architecture and begin to learn how to approach the visual language of these subjects. Students are able to experience the unique historical development of art forms firsthand and their importance within the urban fabric of Venice throughout the duration of this course. The time spent within the city of Venice consists of three-hour daily lectures with one day trip into the surrounding regions of the Veneto to visit Palladian villas. Lectures consist of visiting works of architecture and discussing the visual language present and the historical context of each building, while also interpreting how each building interacts with its surroundings. Outside of class time, students are able to explore the city of Venice and study different works of architecture at their own leisure. The Venetian culture is colorful and mesmerizing, with operas, live music, exquisite seafood cuisine, and an intricate combination of early modern and modern art. Students are immediately immersed into the Venetian culture as they live within the city during the trip, with lectures being the only designated structure of each day. Architecture in Venice, the City and the Sea was just introduced as a course for students to enroll in during the summer 2016 semester. Fifteen students attended the trip to explore the city of Venice and successfully navigated the rich visual culture featured throughout the city while also gaining crucial skills of visual observation. Venice has always been a city unlike any other, which is demonstrated perfectly by its unique architecture and urban environment. The Venice Field School course is an unparalleled opportunity within the art history program at the University of Guelph that students who take part in cherish throughout their post-secondary careers.